Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing fantastic. Uh, good to see you back in, on this channel. Good to see me back on this channel. I'm finally uploading another video and I'm so happy about that. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Uh, we'll get better in a minute once I will start reviewing, react, getting, making a reaction actually to this album. But uh, man, I'm taking this L. For not reviewing this album much much earlier when it was released it was like like two three months ago uh marina blew me away uh i just i started listening to uh first like five six tracks of this album uh, the so pretty much i listened to almost all of the songs off of the love uh, first side of the album i will not be reacting to that part but i will be reacting to track seven and eight and then also the whole entire Fear uh, album. Uh, so, but man, <laughs> oh my god, I was like, what the fuck is this? This is so good, you know what I'm saying? Like this album, like the lo love uh, side at least, um, was fantastic. I actually, I mean, I knew that this album is going to be good. I had full confidence it's gonna be good, which I didn't have time. Uh, not, I mean, it was not a, like a priority to, for me to react uh, to Marina Salem at that time for some reason. The first two tracks, when I heard these first two tracks uh, back then, like three months ago, I told to myself, I'm gonna review this. One day it's gonna happen. You know, at that time I was busy, but like one day it's gonna happen, and this day is finally here. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, the first two tracks, when I heard them, I was I was fully confident this album was gonna be great. And yes, you know I'm glad that it's um, uh, it justified uh, my expectations because um, you know I'm glad that I was not wrong because uh, I can be wrong sometimes. For example, when it comes to Mark Ronson's album Late Night Feelings, I was so excited about this album. I uh, was literally like. I'm, I'm, I hate to say that I didn't like this album, uh, although the first four singles that dropped from this album was phenomenal. I really enjoyed them, especially uh, Miley Cyrus track, you know, uh, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart was my favorite track of the year in 2018. And other singles were also great. I reviewed also um, Find You Again, Fishing Coming Cabello. Uh, and now it was, uh, I said over there that, that I'm definitely reacting to this album. And then, um, I didn't, but I listened to it on off camera, and then off camera I just, oh man, no, unfortunately, like there were some good ideas, but I didn't like it, unfortunately, and uh, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that this album actually uh, didn't fail my expectations. Actually, w was able to provide uh, good, great, juicy, mwah, songs, and I'm, I was I was driving uh, first six songs. Uh, let's name them all because these tracks, bro, like they're fantastic. So, Handmade Heaven, Superstar, already heard them. Uh, Fire, uh, Orange Tree is a good track. Baby, of course, I already heard it. Actually, included uh, Baby by Clean Bandit, that song uh, on last year's uh, top list, uh, 2018. Uh, Enjoy Your Life and True. All great singles. Uh, sorry, it's not singles, songs. Uh, now, let's get to track number seven, To Be Human. Apparently, it has a star on Apple Music as well, so probably a good track. Let's check it out. Marina and the Diamonds. No, just Marina, actually, not in the Diamonds anymore. Love plus fear. First reaction. Let's go. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Lights, done. Track seven to be human. The pagodas and the palaces But the geisha as she balances Life's a cakewalk I'm expecting fire already. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be good. Go to Russia See the red square Okay. Lenin's Wait, why? <laughs> Interesting. There were riots in America yeah. just when things were getting better. True. All, mm. all the people living in the world today reunited by your love. That's 
true, and I like how she approaches this track like in a different way. Like she's describing all these places, like Moscow, United States, uh, Japan, you know, different problems, situations, and then saying how actually, you know, all people are the same, honestly. And that's true. We all want same things. Sim we are much more similar than we think we are. Uh, we focus on those like tiny differences of characters we have so much that we like forget how similar we are like we you and i are humans we all want the same we all want uh, you know nice house we want food to survive we want to drink uh you know we want to i don't know have love we want friendships people yeah pretty much like we want we the common things are common you know we want similar things in life but for some reason like we all uh, focus on these differences oh like wait you vote you voted uh, on uh, for donald trump not hillary clinton back in 2016 i i don't want to talk to you you know like it's uh, n such differences which are not that significant actually on a larger scheme it, it divides divides us uh, on political level and you know from each other yeah it's just nonsense <laughs> honestly <laughs> fantastic and i love the way how she tackles these problems you know she talks about these things and i'm so happy about that uh previous six tracks let's name them on once again the reason i'm naming them because if you haven't listened to these songs you gotta have a listen <laughs> you must check the songs out even if they are not on this video, you know, as I told you, I already listened to these tracks. You must check them out. Great songs, fantastic songs. And uh, To Be Human, another edition, um, great single. And, uh, you know, as I said, like in those six tracks, she already gave uh, plenty of things to, to think about. And um, she, the metaphor she used, the lyrics, I, I just like the way she tackles uh, the songs. Yeah, definitely, I like it. Track 8, End of the Earth. Okay, electronic. Kim Petrus? Charlie XX? Hey. Fantastic. Great song. Another great song. Um, and this is a good conclusion of the first album, Love, um, of this like double album uh, edition, pretty much. Love plus Fear, uh, End of the Earth. It's like, it reminds me of, um, you know, those ap apocalypse movies. Uh, one in which uh, Nicolas Cage played in it was called knowing uh, another movie i can remember is just like it's called 2012 i believe and 2012 was a movie uh, about like 2012 like everybody was expecting that uh, the earth in may of 2012 earth is gonna uh, disappear like it's gonna be destroyed uh at that time before 2012 approached 
Yeah, everybody believed that. Oh, damn. Like, not everybody, but like, people were saying that, okay, 2012 is the last year on human earth uh if on the on the planet if we, you guys remember if you have lived long enough <laughs> right like you you probably remember that thing and uh, that movie uh the reason why i mentioned this movie is because at those movies at the end it's still it was about love loving till you die loving uh till the end of the earth and this uh, song represents exactly that you know like this album is about love and since she was already like talking about like last track to be human oh, like we're like we i don't really understand what it is to be human like we are destroying each other people are not on the same page you know um a lot of fighting and on the other tracks you know she was expressing love to this certain person like she's gonna love this person till the end of the earth so that's what i got um that's what i understood and good conclusion you know it's good the album's great it's actually really really good and uh I'm, I'm glad that i'm finally listening to this uh track one of the album fear believe in love let's check it out Okay, this song is very different um and the, the songs from the previous album love they were also not similar to each other they were stylistically different the performances were uh unique it's great that she's experimenting actually um i love the first album uh love as i said uh, but this one i'm i'm seeing this is gonna go a different direction you know second album of fear uh i'm i'm liking what she has to say it's about you know fear in love meaning, meaning like even if that person shows that she that that person loves you actually you're still sort of like kind of insecure that maybe like oh like one day like this person might leave because in the past i i loved this like other person right like uh, in the relationship I love this other person, and but that person betrayed me or didn't love me to the fullest, um, and we had to break up. Now here, like if like even if everything seems perfect right now, like even if like actually this part partner is great, she because of the past insecurities, she's like she has that um, insecurity. Uh, she, yeah, because she has that fear. Um, yeah, so. I like that, but like sonically, um, not the most um, pleasing song to me. Yeah, uh, listen to the end. Mm, it's just okay to me, sonically. But okay, this is about to be better for sure. <laughs> Life is strange. Track two. Okay. Okay, the production of this one is really dope. I love it. Fantastic! Incredible! God damn it, track for you! Come on. I 
love the bright production. What she's talking about is pretty sad, actually. But I like that it's bright, like up tempo still. Good song as well, actually. And uh, when I did this movement uh, at the line when she said, I, we both know that we'll never change or something like that. Uh, like, uh, maybe you guys believe in that, but like I, I believe in the fact that you can change as long as you put effort to it, as long as you are willing to change and you are actually doing the work to change, you can change. It is difficult to change, but it is possible. So. Uh, the song is about though, um, like a selfish guy, I would say selfish, or girl. I mean, I, but she's straight at uh, Marina. Uh, so, hold on, is she actually straight? <laughs> Let me just double check so that we won't have any problems here in this channel. Okay, yes, she is straight, and she used to be dating Calvin Harris, is what I got <laughs> in the past, which is cool. Okay, uh, I didn't know that. Anyway. Uh, Marina, yes, so uh, this person, right, she's describing, he thinks that he's actually doing really good, he, he thinks that um, he's doing something beneficial for both of us, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this and trying to do that, but like, maybe he sort of underestimates this uh, girl, Marina, maybe he thinks that he's doing everything right, but he's not, and maybe like, he's not actually, um, yeah, underestimating in like, not really taking account to what Marina has to say, what Marina has to do. And essentially this person puts a little bit his priorities above uh, comparing to, uh, to Marina's priorities. Um, and that, of course, is not a healthy uh, relationship. All right, next track is Karma. Really nice instrumental, loving the tune, loving her performance as well. Alright, next track, track 5, Emotional Machine. Bro, loving this tune. She has so much to offer, bro. <laughs> nice. Nice, really nice. Track six, too afraid. I've reached an end, I've reached an end Well, what can I do? I hate this city, but I stay close to you Alright, almost the last track, track 7, No More Suckers Oh, wow <laughs> This album was released on April 26th That's when my parents got married <laughs> Interesting the melody it's again electronic but again different approach different style i feel like this is the first time actually we're hearing this kind of a track it's it's just again like stylistically is different that's why that's what i appreciate like marina has so much to offer not only lyrically but um, her uh, producers doing a great job on executing this album um, musically sounds great sounds different like uh, unique uh, really good solid great pop album so far <laughs> Okay, No More Suckers was alright, uh, nothing was 
like special. Uh, and the last track I have, I have soft to be strong. I know it's hard to be soft, to be kind. I mean, I know that I mean, it's, it doesn't really hurt to be kind. It's like it's actually like really good. It feels good to be kind, but it's, as long as the reception is good, as long as other people, you know, they are being kind back to you, you know, if they are, if they are behaving really badly, if they are still assholes, if you're not getting like anything back from that kindness, then you start questioning like, oh, what is the reason to be even kind? Like, these people are so, like, it's not worth to be, try to, to be trying to be kind. What's the point to, of being kind? But at the same time, like, it's the problem with them, not with you. Like, as long as you have a good, you have a good heart, you have uh, tons of love in your heart, uh, and you want people to succeed, you want people to be happy, you know, you don't want people to suffer or like you don't only like think about yourself but like actually like about community about other people you know um, succeeding together um, then you know you want to give that kindness you want to give that good treatment because, uh, because that's how you want to be treated back and um, yeah so uh, that's the problem with them if they are not being kind with you and like they're going through something and just uh, not your problem, not your problem. And I guess I've known it all along. You have to be soft to be strong. Mm. Finally, I feel the fear is gone. Mm. I found out love yeah, that was like a very vital line for this album because she she had fears pretty much throughout the whole thing again like even the tracks called too afraid you know for example track six right on that album on the album fear and now like finally i don't have that fear anymore which i was going through throughout this whole album and by album i mean like through her life Okay, that's really good. I like how this album like tackles morality and actually makes you think a lot about stuff. It's really good, really good lyrics. Love it. Soft to be strong, uh, soft to be strong meaning you have to go through pain. You have to be vulnerable to actually like build a character and then be strong. You cannot show yourself as you're like strong like pretend that you're strong like you can you can be at least all build up you know like big muscled uh, you know, strong man for example but uh if you don't have that character inside you build up you know that this masculine masculinity essentially means nothing pretty much honestly physically strong yes but uh, what are you gonna do with that power, physical power? You know, if you're not, uh, if you're getting offended over like a simplest thing, and you start like hitting person for for the things that this person doesn't deserve to be hit, like what's the point of having that physical strong, uh, physical strength? Mental health, mental strength is is actually more important. Then you can be. Uh, respectable guy you know and actually know your worth and like act properly in the situations and uh, you, you uh, and then if you also have that physical strength that's even better of course but mental strength is actually better more important to your well-being than the physical strength for example So 
great album great 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 album i really enjoyed it uh, of course there are some tracks uh i prefer over some others but overall you know quality was there quality was great i really enjoyed this album i actually am gonna be coming back to this album for sure um i can see myself coming back to this much more than i came back to uh, Jonas Brothers album because for example, um, you know, there are sometimes albums that I review on this channel and I, and I say Oh, these are good albums and I'm having a good time, but then like I don't come back to it for some reason uh, Not uh, usually I do come back to the music. I review I react don't get me wrong But there are uh, there are occasions like uh, Curly Ray Jepsen's album for example or Jonas Brothers album where I I did enjoy the project, but uh, well, Curly Ray Jepsen not so much. I gave it a 6 out of 10, but um with Jones Brothers, I did enjoy it a lot, but then I didn't come back to it for some reason. And I tried, I tried actually to come back, but for some reason, um, my attention like was not uh, there for like a for a most, for a long time uh, to this album for some reason. Uh, but here, I feel like I actually, I think I will be able to uh, come back to this, uh, if not like the whole project, the, the, the to like five six seven tracks for sure like uh, I, I was already like adding songs to my playlist I, I think I added almost like every song from this album because I really enjoyed the production really enjoyed what she had to say what Marina had to say with Marina uh, the way she sang she sung um, was great it was great I actually enjoyed it a lot and uh, I will give in this album uh, 7.5 out of 10 7.5 don't listen to this man he is a liar <laughs> don't trust him <laughs> this album is at least an eight if not more thank you it's a, it is a good album and it is a good score all right please please listen to this album if you haven't still listened to it uh, probably i'm the last person on earth to listen to this album at this point because i'm reacting to this on july 1st uh this album dropped on april 26th but um if you still haven't Given this a listen, please do. It's worth your time, trust me. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next ones and the next videos are coming. Don't worry, uh, I'm excited. There's uh, like albums like Daniel Caesar's album or uh, J Balin and Bud Bunny album, and I'm gonna be reacting to them next. So I'll see you guys in the next vi videos. Goodbye.